You watched this game along with millions of others. Take me through your thoughts of what happened to the Sixers and what the Celtics did. I have one thought. This is the first time in my professional career coaching, um, you know, covering the NBA, that I've seen a coach lose all three games in a playoff series. That's my thought. Game one, they were ill-prepared. Game two, that second quarter, you threw the game away by being up 19 with 3.43 left in the first half, and you let them go on a run to close it to within five. You call no timeouts. You make no substitutions. You don't slow the pace. You don't get the ball inside to Joel and B, and you don't sub in anybody like a Markel Fultz. Tonight, Philadelphia, game three, turnover prone. As Doris accurately pointed out, it's been a problem with them all year long. At the end of regulation, why do you have a shooter in J.J. Redick trying to make a point guard decision? He's the one who's supposed to be receiving the ball, not looking to make the pass. Why didn't you get the ball down low to Joel Embiid more? Why is he 17 to 19 feet away from the basket in pick and roll situations? What, what kind of sense does that make? Then on top of it all, you got overtime and you saw what happened with the inbounds pass. You've got five guys on the floor. Only one of them is athletic enough to get away from Boston's defenders. That person would happen to be Ben Simmons, and you got him inbounding the balls. It makes no sense whatsoever. That, those were the key elements in this particular game. Of course, they turned the ball over. Of course, there were some ill-advised shots. They were in tough situations. They are a young team. That's why they've been turnover prone throughout this year. But when you look at the decisions that was made by the coach, I have never Ever in 25 years of coaching, of covering rather, the NBA, see a coach in the first three games of a playoff series blow all three games. That is what happened, and that is why the Philadelphia 76ers are on the brink of elimination, about to get the broomsticks out and get swept up out of here. It's because of coaching. It's that simple. How about that? Stephen A. putting Brett Brown on notice. On the other side, if that's what you think about Brett Brown, Take me through Brad Stevens, a couple of those ATO calls, and hanging in shorthanded, winning this game and putting them on the brink of the Eastern Conference Finals. Well, first of all, first of all, let me be clear. I'm not calling for Brad Brown to get fired. I'm just saying I wouldn't be surprised if it happened based on these three games performing. He did a good job during the regular season. It's just that these three games have been god-awful. Now, now to Brad Stevens. All you have to look at is the inbounds plays, the inbounds plays that he ran. Out of timeouts, each and every single time he came out of a timeout with the ball in his hands, he ran a play – that ended up in points for the Boston Celtics. Al Horford scoring on a layup. Marcus Morris, uh, Morris scoring on a jump shot. Jalen Brown scoring on an open shot. Jason Tatum going on an open layup. You saw it throughout the game where Brad Stevens has proven to be, yet again, one of the great, great coaches in the game of basketball. And in fairness to the Philadelphia 76ers, this is something where we all dropped the ball. We looked at the Philadelphia 76ers shoot threes against Miami. We looked at their ability to defend. We looked at the side that they had on the court. And we said, you know what? This team is a problem for anybody. We forgot because of Kyrie Irving's absence. We forgot that Boston has young guys who are long, who are athletic, and unlike the Philadelphia 76ers, they're not one-dimensional. They can do a multitude of things. They can drive to the hole. They can hit jump shots. They can put the ball on the floor, etc., etc. All of those things will work in the Boston's favor. Philadelphia was rife with one-dimensional players. The Boston Celtics have multi-dimensional players. That's why they're up three in this series.